Welcome back to the course on phonetics and phonology. In this video, I'm going to show you the materials related to speech organs, parts of our body which are involved in producing sounds. There are three parts of our body in which our speech organs are located. The first one is our head. You see, there are many organs of speech located in our head. The second part is our neck. In our neck, the organ of speech is our larynx. Larynx is part of our throat, or exactly that is the base part of our throat. The last part of our body in which we can find the organ of speech is our chest. In our chest, the organ of speech is our lung. Chest is also called the subgrowth system in uh, the system of sound production. Subgrowth system includes the lungs and of course, you know, associated muscles needed for inhalation and exhalation and the trachea or the windpipe. The subgrowth system or our chest, you know, especially our lung provides the air support for speech. Okay, so it produces or it provides the air support in order that we can produce sounds. Well, now let's see the first part of our body in which our organs of speech are located, that is our head. Our head is also called a focal tract. You know, a focal tract is known as the area from the larynx okay, to our lips. This is a focal tract. So this is the picture of our focal tract. The area from our larynx to our lips. Now, let's talk about each of the organs of speech located in the focal tract. The first one is our lip, okay? Our lip is divided into two parts, the upper part and the lower part. Okay, so we have upper lip and we have lower lip. And the next one, we have tongue, okay? We have tongue. And our tongue is divided into three parts. The first part is tip of the tongue that is located in the front part of our tongue. And then in the middle part of our tongue or the middle part of our tongue is called blade of the tongue. Okay, And the back part of our tongue is called root of the tongue. So we have three parts of our tongue. And you also have to know that lips and tongue are categorized as active articulators. Why are they called active articulators? Because they are movable. Okay? We can move our lips. We can also move our tongue. That's why they are called active articulators. The other organs of speech are called passive articulators. Why? Because they cannot be moved. Okay, for example, our teeth. Okay, teeth cannot be moved. And we have two parts of our teeth. The first part is the upper teeth and the second one is lower teeth. We have upper teeth and we have lower teeth. And then we have alveolar ridge, okay? 
our Villa Reach is a place in which our teeth are sticked. That is our Villa Reach. And the next one we have here, Heart Pellet. Heart Pellet is exactly located in the middle of our mouth. Okay, the, the upper side of our mouth. Okay, and that side is usually hot. That's why it's called a hot palate. And then when we move backward, we have here a soft palate. Part of the palate which is softer. That's why it's called a soft palate. A soft palate is also known as velum. So velum is the other name of a soft palate. Next, we have here a uvula. Okay, uvula is a junction. And I can say, why junction? Why? Because the junction looks like a letter Y. Okay? That is the place to separate two cavities. And, you know, we have two cavities. The first cavity is known as a nasal cavity. A nasal cavity is a cavity that lets the air go through our nose. That is a nasal cavity. The cavity that lets the air go through our nose. And the second cavity is known as oral cavity. Oral cavity is the cavity that lets the air go through our mouth. And you see here, this is the place where the two cavities are separated. That is uvula. And then we have here pairing. Okay, pairing is the edge of our throat. Okay? That is the edge of our throat. In other words, actually, pairings can be considered as a part of our throat. Okay, so these are the organs of speech which are located in our head, which is also known as a focal tract. Now, let's see the organs of speech which are located in our neck. As I told you, the main organ of speech located in our neck is our larynx. And the important speech organ located in our larynx is focal folds. Focal folds are also known as focal cords. So focal folds are synonymous with focal focal cords. Okay. Focal cords are located in our glottis. Okay, focal folds are located in our glottis. So in our glottis, we can find such area. Okay, this is the picture or the illustrated picture of the glottis. Glottis consists of focal folds, and this is the cartilage. Actually, you know, our layering consists of several cartilages, okay, several cartilages. Okay, so the group of cartilages builds a pipe, and this pipe is known as a larynx. And here, the name of the cartilage which is located near the vocal fold is arytenoid cartilages. Okay, arytenoid cartilages because there are two cartilages located inside the glottis. Okay, so you can see here that our glottis are composed of focal folds and the arytenoid cartilages. Now, how is it important 
introducing sounds. Okay, now, before coming to talk more about the importance of glottis in producing sounds, you have to know that there are three movements of glottis. Okay, there are three movements of glottis. The first one is known as open glottis. Open glottis occurs when the two cartilages, okay, when the two cartilages are opened or when they are separated. This is open glottis. The second one is closed glottis. You can see that a closed glottis occurs when the two cartilages are close to each other. Okay? So you can see that the movement of closing, this is a closed glottis. And the last one is called as almost closed glottis. What does it mean? It means that the glottis is not exactly closed, but of course the glottis is not open. That is called almost closed glottis. The movement of almost closed glottis causes vibration. Okay, it causes vibration. Just like a door, when two pieces of door are not exactly closed, you know, they will have a kind of friction, okay? A kind of friction or a kind of vibration. Okay, the same thing happens in our cartilages when the two cartilages are not exactly closed and they are not open. That's why they cause vibration. And when there's a vibration, you know, this vibration also causes vibration in our focal cords or our focal folds. And whenever there's a vibration in our focal folds or whenever our focal folds vibrate, the sound results in voice sounds, okay? So the sounds are voiced. However, when they are not vibrated, or when there's no vibration in our focal folds, the sounds produced are known as voiceless sounds. You can see that is the importance of glottis in producing sounds. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so you have witnessed okay, the organs of speech or the parts of our body which are involved in producing sounds. And I hope that you can understand this because if you cannot understand the speech organs or parts of our body which are located in, in, in our body, it will be difficult for you to understand the classification of sounds into consonants or vowels. And this topic will become our next topic in the course on phonetics and phonology. This is all and see you.